Yep. It does that. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Kanji's and Teddy's stories are now available. Okay, so how no how Peeper A's story mode worked is you basically go through alternate versions of the main story with each of the characters from their perspective. But uh, it clip uh, but uh, these stories cliffhang uh, have cliffhanger endings. Um and, and you have to play uh, so you have to play certain stories to unlock uh, all the um uh, uh to un uh, unlock like the full endings so let's see yeah, um we need to clear a second char character for our um uh, uh we need to clear a second char character uh, to unlock uh, um uh, more including some of the p uh, including the p3 crew um Yeah. That's all I'm going to uh, uh, uh that's all I'm going to reveal. So let's see. Oh wait. Just checking. Um Okay, so we don't have, uh, we don't, uh, and seem to have to, uh, um, go into one of the, um, we don't seem to have to go, no, uh, uh, into any particular story right now. So who shall we go for next? One of the new unlock uh, or, or, or one of the original crew? We can't complete you's story right now. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go for a quick bio break. Uh, uh, but uh, um, while I'm, I'm away, you guys tell me, me what character uh, character you would like me to do next. Uh, next, um, uh, be right back. I return. Uh. Okay, so Yumu suggests uh, that, uh, it's, uh, that the next character I play is, is the one, uh, and I uh, is the one I like most uh, of who we currently have. Um, she's a little bit hard to use, but I'll uh, I'll you uh, I'll go to Yukiko. Oh, here. Yuki-chan, are you okay? Do you need any help? <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, it's okay. I want to do this by myself. Uh, are you sure? If you need a hand, don't hesitate to ask. I'll smile back up at our waitress, Kasai, and concentrate once again on slicing the carrot out on the cutting board in front of me. It's pretty tough to cut. I am Yukiko Amagi. I am the only daughter uh, of the Amagi Inn. Some people here call uh, the Inn a famous local landmark, but to be honest, that description doesn't really uh, register with me. I think people only see it that, that way because there's, there's nothing else that stands out uh, in this countryside town. I'm getting training in from um, um, Amagi Inn staff, but the food I'm cooking and right now isn't for the customers. 
Actually, my cooking is, well, not so great. There's no way anything uh, I made uh, may, may would uh, would be served uh, would be served here. This is the evening journal with news for May second. Our top story is on the domestic airline that was hijacked yesterday. Uh oh. Momentarily turning uh, her attention away from um, the t uh, uh, from the TV in one of uh, the guest rooms. Kasai uh, uh, speaks with me. Uh, Kasai-san speaks with me. Oh my, look at the time. Yuki-chan, don't push yourself too hard, okay? <laughs> Thank you. The latter half of Golden Week starts tomorrow. I usually have uh, to work uh, through it uh, since, uh, since the end is uh, so busy during the holidays. But I've uh, been uh, given uh, permission and, uh, to take tomorrow off. And that, uh, that's because uh, you, uh, Yukon is coming back uh, to spend time um, here on Inaba. Yuna Arukami. He has a precious friend who uh, transferred to Yasugami High here in, in Inaba last spring. He had to move back to the city after his parents returned uh, from, their overseas, uh, from their jobs overseas. But now I uh, finally get uh, to see him again after two whole months. Just thinking about uh, that news puts a smile on my face. People may think uh, that I'm overreacting uh, over, uh, ju uh, over just two months, but it still makes me happy. I mean, the year uh, uh, spent with Yukon uh, was, quite, uh, uh, was quite a special one for us. It sounds hard to believe, but last year uh, we got uh, wrapped up, up in a serious uh, mystery and uh, uh, and uh, that uh, that occurred in this town and insult, uh, insulted ourselves. The one who led the team and was and we created then the investigation the investigation team was Yukon. Most of us who are in, in the investigation team are, are going to meet up uh, for his return tomorrow. I'm uh, I'm already excited about it. Just as I begin to lose myself up in these thoughts, an acrid burning smell uh, stings my nose. Oh, right. I was grilling the fish. Oh, dear. I hurriedly uh, flip the sea bream and I left, uh, I left on the grill. It's still good, right? Yeah, it still looks good. I think it'll be fine, maybe. When I look inside the pot, a lot of the water is gone, but the ingredients I put uh, uh, there to boil look soft, so it should be okay. It's probably me time to turn and, and the stove off, though. I put on the fishing, uh, the finishing touches, and finally uh, take a breather. Everyone likes this. It's been a while since everyone and in the and the investigation team got together. So I want to make it uh, uh, seem a little more uh, like a celebration. That's why I began uh, to make, make the. Uh, that's why I began uh, uh, making this box uh, its lunch for all of us. Uh, but uh, there it was uh, it's a lot more food to prepare than I'd expected. I have new respect. Uh, I have a new respect for our cooks. The number of guests we get here every day is way more than the amount of people I'm cooking for. They have to make, make a lot more uh, food than, just, than I just did. I grabbed the largest tier uh, uh, liqueur, uh, liqueur box next we have uh, and struggled to cram um, all the food into it. The presentation of the food is important, but I think taste should be a cook's priority. The boys will eat a lot. I'm sure Chie will too. I definitely shouldn't skimp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> welcome to the uh, welcome uh, to the uh, uh, to the stream, Deep Sea. There, all done. Hmm. An email? Who could it be from? I open my cell. I notice a familiar name being displayed. Just got back uh, uh, from uh. uh uh, from um, uh, um, and and said I he made need Nasi Lavat baby. 
I have a general idea uh, of how to uh, of how to cook my uh, self, but I don't particularly have the patience for it. Oh, it's Chie. <laughs> I wonder if she forgot where we're meeting up tomorrow. Hold on, I forgot. Uh, yeah, I read that. Chie Satanaka. She's been my best friend ever since I was little. She's also a member of the investigation team. We went through so much together during, during the course of last year's events, and now we're, we're even closer than before. Sure enough, the email all I received was making was asking for confirmation about our meeting place. Hey, she must have uh, she must have gotten so excited when she heard the news uh, that she he glazed over the details. <laughs> That's so like her. But there was more uh, to her email. The Midnight Channel is on the air again. The Midnight Channel. At, uh, at midnight, it's on a rainy night. If you look uh, at, uh, at a TV that's turned off, uh, if that uh, that was uh, the uh, the. If you look at at a TV that uh, it's turned off, you'll see your soulmate. And uh, that uh, that was the urban uh, legend that uh, spread like wildfire in this town last year. Yeah, and we're seeing uh, we're seeing what was shown uh, for her. At first, I uh, I obviously thought that it was just a rumor, but I was wrong. It wasn't some superstition. There actually was something to that rumor. When we tested it out uh, for ourselves, we really saw an image appear on the, on the TV, even though no, it was turned off. But it wasn't anyone's soulmate. The person that appeared on the TV was a victim. This is why the, the investigation team was formed. The phenomenon was closely tied to the incident uh, that we resolved. In a nutshell, it was, it was a series of murders. A few, a few people died and it, and it was all over the TV news. That alone and is already a, a serious case, but we discovered something even more shocking about it. There was a world inside TVs. Personas and shadows. We encountered uh, so many unbelievable things that there's no way I uh, could uh, explain all of it. But everyone in the investigation team desperately did their best and we managed to uh, take care of everything. Even the Midnight Channel was shut down. So it's pretty strange that it, uh, it's on again at, and all of a sudden. It seems she may have, uh, hasn't seen it in person yet, judging by her email. She just said, let's walk uh, to the Midnight Channel tonight. I glance out uh, at the small window in the kitchen. Today's forecast is rain. A perfect weather for checking the Midnight Channel. That's not possible. Words of denial tumble out uh, from my mouth. It's not that I don't believe Chie. It's just that I'm really, really hoping that it's not true. If the Midnight Channel well, is broadcasting again, are we going to uh, see another series of murders? Those worries being ignored away. Uh, those worries being ignored away at my stomach. Blech. These worries begin gnawing away at my stomach. Standing up again uh, as my own rebellious uh, shadow and getting to know uh, everyone better uh, through our adventures in the investigation team are important memories of mine. But this would be something different. Even as I send off a reply to Chie, my emotions are still running wild. I've got a bad feeling about oh, this. There you are. Someone's on the phone for you, yuki -chan. I'm so on edge that when kasai -san, uh, speaks up, uh, I jump a little. I feel, uh, I feel like a fool. I'm all worked up over a mere possibility that something's going to happen again. I calm myself down and smile like well, uh, Kasai. Uh, kasai -san. Though this is kind of, uh, of odd. For me? Who could it be at this hour? He said he was Kujikawa-san's manager and he wanted to ask you something. Oh boy. 
Kuji, you say Kujikawa? She's the underclassman from our high school. Not only is she part of the investigation team, but a famous idol and TV personality. Risei and Chan took uh, a break uh, from show business while the investigation team was underway, but she has uh, been uh, preparing uh, to get back uh, into, uh, into it since spring. She's been super busy lately. I have no idea why her manager uh, would be calling me, though. The Cyclon joke uh, said uh, they're, that they're trying to recruit me and hands me the, the, the receiver. She then uh, ducks back uh, through the split curtain. This isn't helping that uneasy feeling that I was, uh, was having earlier. I take a deep breath and put the phone to my ear. Hello, this is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to call so late. My name is Inoue. I am Risei Kujikawa's manager. Yes, that's what I was told. Uh, how can I help you? Well, you see, uh... I, I can't reach Kujikawa. I was hoping you might know where she is. Huh? They don't know where Risei-chan is? Apparently she won't answer her cell, and isn't and at her grandmother's uh, place or her parents' home in the city. That is the end of my war. Her, uh, her exhausted manager told me he, he was uh, at, at such a loss that, out of desperation, she looked up our int's number and, and called me since we knew you know, that and since he knew that we were friends. I feel really bad for the poor guy, but I'm sorry, I don't know. The manager on the other side of the phone replies with a downcast I see. After he apologizes uh, for uh, calling me out uh, of the blue like this, he, en uh, he ends, ends the phone call, but now, uh, but not before uh, asking me uh, to keep Risei's disappearance under wraps. Even setting aside uh, work, uh, he must uh, be worried sick about her. At least that, that's what he sounded like to me. The world of showbiz is pretty tough. Yeah, like, uh, uh, um, like, uh, being an idol is very hard in Japan. Like, there's all sorts of pressure on you and stuff. This isn't the first time this has happened. Risei-chan went missing when and she took her, her break last year, so Inoue-san uh, must be afraid of going through that again. But that's the only reason I was able. Uh, uh, but that was the only. That's the only reason I was able to get to know her. Don't tell me. The revival of the Midnight Channel. Risei Chan's sudden disappearance. My mind is swirling. Uh, is a swirling miasma of depressing ideas and, and, and worst case scenarios. Could Risei Chan then have gotten and uh, dropped into the TV again? I know that my tendency to immediately gravitate to the worst possibilities is a bad habit of mine, but I can't. And, uh, but I can't stop myself. I opened the cell uh, to bring up my list of most uh, cold contacts, but my finger stops when I see the name Yuna Arakami on the display. No, I can't go running to him with everything. There's no proof that it's happening again anyway. I shouldn't make him worry. Now it's definitely not happening again. No siree. We definitely didn't experience that in another in another story. There isn't any reason and to you know, can, uh, be concerned about anything yet. Yukon is coming back for the first time in a while. After being away for so long, I want to welcome them in with joy, not with unnecessary burdens. There's a uh, there's a reason reasonable uh, explanation for everything so far. I need to keep my uh, wild thoughts to myself until I uh, have uh, uh, have some real confirmation. Mm. Risa Chan's number is. I look for Risa Chan's number on my uh, cell and 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 then press the call button. One ring, two rings, three rings. No response. With each unheeded un ring, my an my anxiety grows. Why isn't she picking up? Maybe you know, she's in the area and 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 with a bad. Uh, maybe she's in an area with bad reception. 
Or maybe she's in danger and can't answer the phone. No, no, I have to stop thinking like that. Maybe I should call Yosuke -kun. I pressed the button to end the call, as if uh, my worries would uh, uh, end along with it. And I begin uh, looking uh, up another number. Yosuke Hanamura. He's another classmate and a member of the investigation team, and also apparently uh, Yukon's partner. At first I thought uh, uh, Yosuke Hanamura was uh, just calling himself that, but it seems that feeling is mutual now. Considering that he gets along with everyone uh, pretty well, he's got uh, more friends than I, uh, and he's got more friends than I do. He might know something about Risei-chan. Without any other leads, he's probably uh, my best option. I'll die. I dial Yosuke's num Yosuke Kun's number. This time, the call connects immediately. He must have answered his, uh, his phone without even thinking about it. I feel a little relieved and speak up. Yosuke-kun? Good evening, this is Yukiko. I got an email from Chie a moment ago. Yeah, she told me to. About the Midnight Channel coming back, right? Sheesh, I <laughs> bet Chie was half asleep when she emailed you. <laughs> there he is, the most popular fictional Yosuke. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> or as Twit Gamer likes thanks to call him, Brosuke. Hearing Yosuke Kun's cheerful voice uh, takes a bit more of my worries away. To avoid. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's Brosuke, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> to avoid causing panic, I, I try to choose my words carefully, and I relate uh, what I uh, hear from Risei Chan's manager. Actually, I just received a phone call about Risei Chan disappearing. Well, not literally disappearing, but anyway, it seems her people can't get in touch with her. Really? She didn't mention any problems she was having to you, right? No, I think she would have told us if anything was troubling her. She was busy, but happy to be working. Right. And now rumors of the Midnight Channel coming back. Yeah. I go ahead and tell Yosuke everything Inoue-san told me. I promised him that I wouldn't tell anyone. But I figure uh, that uh, the investigation uh, the investigation team needs to know things, things like this. After all, Risei-chan has been uh, through uh, thing, things with us that I'm sure uh, she would have uh, kept secret from her manager. After we talk about Risei-chan's disappearance, a slightly awkward silence falls upon the conversation. Has Yosuke kun uh, come um, to the same conclusion as I have? Before I can linger too long, Yosuke Kun breaks the silence with a serious yet cheerful response. Let's not get carried away. First, we need to see if the Midnight Channel's really back. There's no use worrying over things we don't know are happening. It's always important to be sure first, right? At times like these, is as it's times like these is that I once again realize is that my friends on the investigation team are wonderful. Yukun, who is calm um, and decisive, Yosuke Yukun, and who is, is always is a source of good cheer, and it's not just the two of them. Everyone's personalities on the team complement each other, and because of this, we were are able uh, to overcome all the uh, inconceivable obstacles as we as that we faced. You're right. Thank you, Yosuke Kun. I thank Yosuke Kun and, and hang up. There's no use in getting flustered. First, we need to confirm the current situation, and then, then think of a plan based on what we learn and what we learn. <laughs> this feels so nostalgic. A smile forms um, on uh, um, on my lips as I, as my worry uh, subside a bit. The lessons learned from last year are helping me now. The Midnight Channel airs at midnight. I've got not a lot of time man, to kill until then. Oh, I know. I have to c uh, clean up the, uh, the kitchen. I don't want to leave a, uh, the madness for our, our cooks, uh, even when they arrive uh, uh, for our cooks when they arrive in the morning. Sorry, I just saw my uh, mouth and the uh, is in the way. After I finish cleaning up uh, the kitchen, I take a bath. I return. Uh, uh, after I finish cleaning up the kitchen and take a bath, I return to my room. 
I pick, uh, I look at the clock. Uh, I look at the clock, but it's not even close to midnight. Time. I try. Uh, I try to read a book, but nothing is sticking with me. I, it even feels uh, like time is moving slower. I just want midnight to hurry up and get here. It's all right. I'm sure things will be fine. Nothing will happen. Yeah, nothing will happen. That's what this game. Uh, that's what this game uh, uh, is. Just a whole bunch of nothing happening. Rivals. They are friends. Yes, powerful foes. I don't think nothing's happening. The desperate fighting program amongst high school students. A new legend is about to start! Be the manliest of all men! Come on down! Nobody touches his precious Nanako! The sister complex kingpin of steel, Yu Narukami! It's only natural. Wage slave in the boonies by day, hero <laughs> by night! Captain Rasantamo, Yosuke Hanamura! Everything that bores me has gotta go! A spunky dragon with deadly legs. The carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Shie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince! The unconquerable Snow Black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike! Blooming roses and bulging muzzles, the blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance, the body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ Killjoy detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight and survive towards the one throne waiting at the end! The P1 Grand Prix where fierce fights will be fought! The battle begins tonight! For the record, I'm not skipping these for the, um, uh, for the people who just joined in. The Midnight Channel, no, uh, the Midnight Channel visits the Happy Theme of Man Man. I wouldn't, uh, have, I wouldn't be surprised if something like that happened. Huh. I sit in, in Junas food court uh, with the weight uh, of my homemade uh, box uh, lunch and uh, a heavy uh, with the weight of my homemade box lunch and a heavy heart. Until yesterday evening, uh, my only concerns for today were cooking uh, enough food for everyone and worrying about uh, whether uh, June is would uh, be too crowded. A lot that has changed uh, in those few hours. So instead of uh, coming in here uh, early to reserve uh, space for my friends, uh, to reserve a spa uh, space for my friends, and I'm here uh, even earlier out of sheer stress. On a side note, sitting here right now makes me realize uh, that there are, there are a lot more people in this town than I uh, ever imagined. And with that many people, uh, quite a few of them um, probably saw uh, the Midnight Channel broadcast last night. Why is this happening? I know that I'm not going uh, to get an answer uh, uh, to that question, but I can't uh, help but mutter it uh, to myself as I sit uh, and wait. It, uh, it isn't the first time uh, my image has appeared on the Midnight Channel. I heard about it uh, from Chie uh, uh, the other, uh, and the other uh, last time, but I never uh, seen it myself until now. No matter how hard I try to deny it, there's no doubt that it was me. They even gave me a ridiculous title, The Unconquerable Snow Black. What's that even supposed to mean? And, uh, what, uh... Everyone else has got uh, uh, nonsensical names too, but it's no laughing matter. Actually, I can't even remember uh, what my friends were called. The only thing that registered was what all of, uh, uh, was that all of them were pretty awkward. I was too stunned to catch anything more than that. 
When Shea called me afterward, as I finally came to my senses, the situation just seemed to be more serious uh, than I had ever imagined. Than I had imagined. Yeah, that I had, had imagined earlier. Sorry. Especially considering that Risei-chan isn't the only one and that we haven't been able uh, to get a hold of. Oh, you're early. Good morning, Chie. I couldn't stop thinking about things, so I wrapped up my shift at the inn early and came here. Just as my thought as we're getting uh, gloomy again, Chie's cheerful boy is just there to snap uh, me out of my funk. I look up to see my uh, best friend uh, waving at me. Yeah, I shouldn't keep dwelling on uh, and these bad thoughts. It'll be okay. I'm sure we'll uh, be able to handle this. I reassure myself to show uh, Chie uh, what, I, uh, what I brought. I actually made a boxed lunch for everyone. Let's eat it together later. Wow, a boxed lunch? You made it? <laughs> I shrug and give a wry smile and I'll add Chia's reaction. Worry, I made sure to taste test it first so it won't be like last year. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine if, the, the, if this was another turn of Mystery Food X. Well, you've got a point. We don't want people to keep calling us poison chefs, do we? Good lord. Ooh, that does smell really good. Oh man, I can't wait to try it. Hearing Chie's delight is make me feel a bit better. I wonder if everyone else will be as excited about my food as she is. Just as I'm thinking about how uh, to bring it up, I hear a familiar cheerful voice from behind. Hey there, sorry I'm late. I ran into this guy at the elevator. Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! We missed you! The guest of honor is finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we... It's Yosuke-kun and, and uh, it's Yosuke-kun and Yukun. She ain't bound as well as happily as, as, as can be, but I'm a little lost in my emotions. I wonder how much Yukun knows about what happened yesterday. Yosuke Kun is the first uh, to notice what I'm getting at and casually he transitions into the, into the subject. Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. You can smile at my words. And, uh, 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 that uh, that kind of uh, smile uh, and calm, that kind smile and calm demeanor, he hasn't changed at all. I'm happy, but there's definitely an elephant in the room. I wish that uh, this could uh, just be a fun get together uh, with us all getting hang together like normal people. My uh, my thoughts are interrupted uh, by an exaggerated cough. It's Yosuke Kun. Apparently, he was waiting uh, for us to all sit down. After grabbing uh, our, our attention, Yosuke-kun uh, begins to speak. Well, it sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! <laughs> Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. Yosuke Kun sarcastically teases us uh, for applauding, but after glancing around at everyone, I'm sure uh, we all felt not uh, that it was appropriate. I mean, there's no reason for any of us uh, to turn that down. We have friends missing, and there's something uh, causing trouble. Of course, we're going to help Nop out and, and, and get to the bottom of this. After confirming. Uh, and what every uh, and that everyone's on board. Yosuke Kun and uh, uh, Yosuke Kun continues on. Our union and is now you know, a full-fledged tactical meeting of, uh, the, invest, uh, of the invest of the investigation crazy. team. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naoto Kun, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here, too. 
that makes four of our friends who aren't here today. Hearing it from Chie it was one thing, but talking about it in a meeting like this, and not seeing faces that should be here makes it all hit home. Even though there's no need to worry about Naoto kun, what could be so important that she can't be here? We'll definitely find that out. She's such a skilled detective, uh, it would uh, be much more uh, reassuring thing to have her around, but bringing that uh, up uh, to the group wouldn't help now. I need to focus on what uh, all of us uh, uh, who are uh, uh, here can do. One thing's been bothering me. The picture on the TV was very clear last night. Yeah, going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey! Isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions? I can understand Chia's anger. From what we, uh, from what she's told me, we, uh, she tried uh, talking uh, to some girls who were chatting uh, about the rumors, but they ran away from her. Probably, no, definitely because they saw the Midnight Channel. I hated hearing the whispers of you know, scoring princess under people's breaths as after the Midnight Channel aired uh, last last year, so I can empathize with Chie's feelings. But I feel a little better about it this time. Back then, I didn't see the broadcast for myself, so I didn't know what it, what I looked like. Of course, I still hate that I was on it again, and and it's still really embarrassing. Me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, and we can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Just because Akon has a point, if we want to investigate the reappearance of the Midnight Channel, it would be the fast. Uh, it would be fast to, uh, to uh, just go in there and, and see for ourselves. But... Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Exactly. We can enter TVs because we are Persona users, but without Teddy preparing a TV inside of the TV world uh, for us to exit through, we'd be trapped there. Yosuke Kun laughs proudly in, in response to our shared worry. Uh -huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Foreshadowing. Like anyone would be that clumsy. Foreshadowing. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate then. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. Everyone nods at Yosuke's Kun's words. Oh. I forgot to mention the food I made. Should I may I do? What should I do? Should I bring it uh, up after we go inside the TV? Well, we're in the middle of a serious situation uh, now, so no, this is, is definitely not the time for a boxed lunch. I'll bring it up afterwards. We'll all eat a great meal all together after uh, the case uh, has been solved. It'll be the perfect motivation for us to solve it. As I work, uh, I got my resolve. Chie suddenly taps my forehead. Hey, Nico, it'll be all right. You don't need to scrunch up your face. <laughs> Was I doing that? Yeah, you're gonna give yourself wrinkles. Uh, I'll be more careful. Don't worry, things are different from the way they were last year. We're old pros at this. Hmm. Chie knows that I'm, I'm apprehensive, so she's trying. So she's trying to make me smile. But she is right. I shouldn't get myself too worked up. I smile in response to my best friend's thoughtfulness, and then we're off, following in Yukon and in Yosuke Kun. It's a holiday, so the store's full of people. Well, it's a bit more pricey. 
I feel like things are picking up around town. It's time to go. Hello. All the models are on sale right now. You know, it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. are going away uh-huh mm -hmm. here we go let's go Curse you, 3D functionality. <laughs> okay, um... I think we got time for a scene, but... Uh, we'll do the scene and then, um, uh, and then the fight. <laughs> Uh-oh, gamers, we're going into Breaking Bad. <laughs> we'll do the scene and, and then do uh, the fight, but uh, then I'll have to end. Uh, then I'll have to end the stream. <sighs> um, what happened? I was with uh, Yuka and the, and, uh, and the others, and, and we entered uh, the TV as usual. And then? Um, where am I? My mental fog cleared uh, immediately once the cold uh, sensation again as my cheek uh, and back kicks in. It doesn't feel like uh, I'm hurt anywhere. I'm filled with confusion as I uh, get uh, up and look around, but looking around uh, not only raises further questions. The scenery looks familiar on a uh, on a basic looks level. Like an auditorium. But wait, is this our school's gym? I know I'm the guy. I'm. Bleh. I know I'm the guy. What? <laughs> I know I'm in the, the gym at uh, high school. Well, whoever. Uh, however, the details are completely different. There are mounds of chair uh, uh, stacked in weird formations everywhere. No, uh, and and, ev and everything feels a bit creepy. Someone messed up big time on their chair stacking duties. Then I noticed uh, that something even more important and is a mess. Where's Chie? Yukun? Hello? Isn't anyone around? I don't see any of them, and not uh, and uh, no one replies to my uh, to my inquiries. It seems like uh, we've gotten separated. Only the, uh, when and we enter the TV. Uh, usually, when we enter the TV uh, together, uh, we all end up uh, in the same place. Egg graders always get lazy with uh, the stacking because uh, they want to get home, <laughs> home early. So much hate. <laughs> all of a sudden, something started gushing out. Smoke. It's white smoke, uh, like you see me on TV and movies. I take a, dis uh, a defensive stance and prepare myself. Considering that I'm inside the TV, I need to get, uh, be ready for anything. I feel isolated and lonely, but I'm, uh, I'm an important member of the investigation team, too. Hello! Sorry for the wait! Greetings, boys and girls of Yasugami! The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin. Whoa! Like I heard a voice. I heard a voice behind me, and then and, and uh, I turned to look uh, to see if one of my uh, one of my family men uh, he was calling me. There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. Is that Risa-chan? I, Rosette, will be your commentator. But first, the General has a few words for you all. Actually, depending on how long this uh, takes, we might not even uh, be able to get to the battle. 
Were you saying Sean and, and was inside the TV too? But something about her seems odd. Despite my perplexity, the big monitor on the state uh, on the stage in the gym turns on when Risei's voice when we see Chan's voice gives the cue. What appears on it that uh, uh, what uh, is an oddly dressed. Teddy, <laughs> you're all here now. Well then, I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix. Um, P1 Grand Prix? Wait, that sounds familiar. It's the name of the program that had uh, aired on the Midnight Channel last night. Where's that cheering coming from? Was it just a sound effect? I don't see anyone here. But ignoring that for the moment... Yuki chan you still haven't figured out what's going on? Should I give you a special deluxe smooch to wake you up? Good Lord, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> Daddy, those clothes! <laughs> yep, that's Yukiko. I'm sorry, but every time I look at you, <laughs> that hat fits you. <laughs> I saw it once already on the TV yesterday, but I still can't stop laughing. I'm dying here. I've never uh, seen a gigantic hat like that that sold it, uh, like that sold anywhere. Just too funny. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Are you sure you want to keep laughing like that? If you keep it up, you won't be able to reach your most cherished thing. It's just that My most cherished thing? <laughs> That's it. I'm angry now. If you won't listen when I tell you things, you'll have to find out the hard way. Bring out the next opponent. It's no use. It's still funny. I'm gonna die. My eyes, are, my eyes are tearing up, and my abs are hurting from laughing so hard. But then smoke starts pouring out again. Once the smoke clears, I see Yosuke-kun? That finally puts an end to my laughter. Yosuke-kun, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> of course I am. Now let's just hurry up and do this. I'll take this opportunity to overcome the Amagi challenge in a different way. What? I don't understand what Yosuke-kun is saying. He's not making any sense. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Huh. Isn't it pretty late to be getting cold feet? You're killing the mood here. Hurry up and get ready, Yukiko. Uh, just to be clear, I'm not going to go easy on you. Yosuke-kun, what's gotten into you? Don't tell me you really want to fight. Can't you see what kind of mess we're in? We really need to get our act together. Upon hearing my words, Yosuke-kun's face is contorts as if he thinks I'm being a wet blanket. It's giving me goosebumps. He's never looked at me like that before. Yikes! Yep, sure enough, Miss Goody Two Shoes ruins a moment again. You're always like that, you know. Always just going with the crowd. Huh? Oh, sorry, that wasn't it. I meant to say you just jump on whatever the easy way out is. That's not true. You said you thought things over and decided to take over the inn, but I bet you came to that conclusion the same way. I can't come up with a response to Yosuke Kun's words. Saying I'm just jumping on and the easy way out. It's true that during last year's incidents, I realized is there was a part of me you know, that just wanted to escape from everything. That I despised being seen as nothing man, but the daughter of uh, the upstanding traditional family that runs the town's inn. But in the end, I made up my mind and followed my, uh, my family's footsteps after all. I was able uh, to defeat those inner thoughts thanks to you, Kun, and, and everyone else. You know, it's okay, Kun, and, and should uh, know that. He was there. So why? You tried to act all high and mighty by saying you were determined, but you were just trying not to rock the boat. It's too much trouble thinking on your own, so you closed your eyes to everything. Isn't that right, 
Miss Goody Two Shoes. Jeez. This isn't reality. This is the TV world. I thought Yosuke couldn't shadow might uh, end up come out again, but he doesn't look. Uh, but uh, he doesn't look like one. His voice and eyes is, is are the same as usual. Even his smile is the same. It's Yosuke-kun, the same uh, uh, one who's always chatting away uh, cheerfully in the classroom. But that's. Now there is something you don't see every day. What are you thinking so hard about, Yosuke? What was that supposed to mean? But uh, it's nothing. What? Come on, you can tell me. Here, I'll help you with whatever it is. Huh? What's this piece of paper? Hey, hey! Shay's swipe is much uh, faster than uh, Yosuke can shock spastic uh, attempt um, at defense. This is. Oh, this is for our guidance counseling. Hey, don't look at that. Oh, so you're having a hard time deciding on your future. Can it? Anyway, what about you? Come on, Chie. Knowing you, it must be something incredible, right? Yosuke can sma uh, snatch as the but as a blank. The blank land and count canceling form and back from Yosuke Kun snatches the blank and guidance counseling form back uh, into Chie, uh, back from Chie's hands and lashes out at her. Unfortunately for him, she answers with no hesita with no hesitation. <laughs> Very funny. I'm all set on what I want to do. That sounded like you meant it. Did you think I was lying? That's pretty rude, you know. I'm totally serious about it. Seriously? What about you then, Yukiko? Are you going to take over the inn after all? I nod in response to the question as the conversation shifts to me. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. I gave it a lot of thought, but in the end, that's what I'm going with. Does that make me the only one still undecided? It's impossible. But man, that's amazing, Yukiko. Next to Chie and her, whatever pops into my head. I can tell you're set on this. Hey, what did you just say? <laughs> Those memories of Yosuke Kun and supporting my decision so enthusiastically make my shock in this moment even greater. Is that how you really feel? That I'm just uh, taking the easy way out? No, it's not an easy way out. Uh, sure, fine. It's useless talking about it. An idiot like me wouldn't understand what a goody two-shoes like you thinks. Let's decide this with an easier way. Come, Jiraiya! Well, Yosuke Kun uh, summoned his, person his persona. Persona. <laughs> a, per the, a persona and a shadow are one and in the same, so they he cannot coexist at the same time. In other words, the one standing before me has to be the real Yosuke Kun. Any hope that the, uh, this isn't and, and really him it, uh, has been shot down. The word, uh, uh, the words hurled uh, all that me a moment ago bury themselves deeper into my chest. I want to talk things out with him, but it doesn't seem like he's willing to listen right now. And then. Come. I'm not just going to stand here and take this. I need to figure out how no, the others are doing, so I need uh, to fight and uh, I need to fight and win for now. Well, here goes the first battle. Captain versus Snow Black is about to begin. Who will Lady Luck smile upon? I'm as curious to find out as you are, dear viewers. Um, I think we got time for the battle. But after that, I have to end the stream. Has 
<laughs> you fight bitch slapped him into the feet. Okay, that was quick, but we don't really have time for the scene after. I'm already kind of no, nah, I'm already kind of pushing it. Persona 4 Arena. Uh, whoops. Persona 4 Arena. Okay. Um. You're welcome, um, and you see. Uh, so thank you all for joining me, uh, joining me for the uh, stream. I'll be back to the regular time tomorrow. I was streaming for three hours to cat uh, to catch up for last week. So uh, um, if you enjoy my uh, if you enjoy my stuff, uh, please check me out. Uh, uh, please is is leave a, leave a follow if you haven't uh, uh, already. Uh, uh, um, you can also cat uh, draw my stuff on YouTube, though I should be able to all oh, the VOD soon. I'm going to start that with my next full length series. Is um, uh, uh, I'm also uh, I've also got my own Discord, so please uh, be sure. Uh, uh, so no, uh, if you enjoy my uh, stuff, uh, uh, if you, uh, please please uh, uh, please join if you're so inclined. I'm also on Facebook and, and Twitter. So uh, um. Just before, uh, just before we go, oh, it looks like it, it, uh, looks like Moo is streaming. Ah, I see he's doing up, uh, he's doing farming on it uh, and FGO. Well, I'm going, uh, I'm going to perform a raid on uh, him um, uh, for you guys. He's he he's been very supportful uh, for me being and uh, for my the uh, uh, He's been very supportive of my uh, becoming a VTuber, or, or um, uh, so no, I'm no, I'm going to help him out too. Not that he needs much, needs much help, uh, but uh, it's still. In any case, thank you all uh, so much for watching. I'll see you all for the next one. This is Metis Velasquez signing out.